right, so we're getting close to we're getting close to time, but on that note, I want to end on a downer positive. Downer positive. Downer Let's positive. Let's go. Let me drink so, moonshine before we start this. Uh, let me like, drink can... moonshine before we start this one. Mm. Why are you slurping? <laughs> All the better. Good? It's so good. It's so good. You're not slurping. You're not doing it right. R. Kelly fills cups and I drink beer <sighs> and moonshine. Here you go. Get you some of that there, moonshine boy. All right. All right. So, what's your upper downer? All right. All right. All right. So, this is for all my veterans out there. All right. Let's go. Watch out for your people. Oh, hands down. And I say this because a couple days ago, I give you props. I co- really co- do. A couple days ago, I I shot keeper a message. It was at like sixteen fifty nine. Yeah. I think I shot him. It the was first fifty six. Yeah, it was the first message. And um. A couple hours later, I shot him another message saying, "Hey, review this clip. Tell you know, tell me what you think, and then publish it. And then a couple hours later, it was later, two hours. Then it was one hour. I said, "Okay, review this clip and and add context to it." And then I was like, another hour goes by, and I was like, "Hey, bro, you okay? You called me, so it was two hours. So six fifty six, then six seven eight. It was eight fifty six on my call on my text message, and then." It was 8.56, and then you called me right about 10, because I just woke up. I just woke up. I just decided to eat, like, a cup of Cheez-Its, because I needed something. Yeah, because you were sick. I was was dog beat tired. Whatever was going around, CDC saying it's RSV plus, whatever the fuck that means. I I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. But I was dog beat tired. I slept for like 16 hours straight. So Keeper had broken from his normal patterns. And those that break from patterns made me uncomfortable. Um, because he wasn't responding to my text messages. And so eventually I called him. And if I had called him and he hadn't answered, the next step would be showing up at his door. And seriously, we, we do care about our veterans we really do like we're all veterans here 21 veterans a day is too much one veteran a day is too much like we're all we're all veterans if you're having a hard time hit out to someone seriously we really do care Mm -hmm. like realistically every veteran cares if there's one that doesn't let me know i'll find them and we'll have a talk yeah we'll have a conversation because we should all care for each other. We all signed a blank check. All of us signed a blank check. You you essentially sold your body to the government for whatever reason. I don't care if it was college. I don't care if it was money. I don't care if it was a trait. So I get I get BA checks. I'm at a hundred percent. Yeah, but here's here's the question about that though. So I'm gonna get a tattoo. On my no, ass. but but it's seriously, think United about States this. Government. When you were going through issues a couple weeks ago, yep. What was the first question I asked you when you were going through your issues? Where are you at? What's your mental status? What's your mental status? I want to make sure you are okay. Yep. I don't care what's going on in your real world. Then and and you know, so since we're talking about suicide awareness, let's do this because because seriously, I'm, this is I'm what we advocate. care about. What is Where's your mind space? Because, Mike, I give him props because I was sick. I should, realistically, knowing he's he's my business partner, I should be like, bro, I'm sick of shit. I'm I'm gonna be out of out of reach for a little bit. My but- my brain did not go in that direction. My brain went keeper is not conforming to normal habits and standards, and so I immediately started going. Is he in a bad place? And you know, was and there I, an accident, or him, or his wife and the kid okay? Like, like. And I stepped back and I looked at this. I didn't fix our thumbnail for our last video. I didn't. I there was things I didn't do because I didn't have time because of something else, and then I got sick. Right. So there was all these things that didn't well, happen. Well, Mike can see happen. the same things I can see because we share the same account, and there's just like. 
this wasn't changed, this wasn't changed. So he has all these different ability to see what can be done. And there's like, it wasn't done. It was like, okay, well, I've texted him thrice now and he hasn't done anything. Mm-hmm. And normally, I I like to pride myself on, normally I respond with, at least within an hour of whatever goes on because my phone's never on silent. Middle of the night, it's not on silent. I sleep like a rock and my wife would be like, Someone texted you. Someone texted you again. Okay, what? And I'll look, and at least it'll be Hargle Blargle. Because I think I've messaged you that before. It's, just, yeah. it's gibberish. And he's just like, gibberish. He's like, okay. He's on his meds. He's okay. He's, asleep. he's on his meds, mm-hmm. or he's asleep, or okay, cool. He's fine. At least I know you're good. Yeah. But I didn't message. And this is, this is the biggest call out. If you are a veteran and you have issues, you have PTSD. And the only reason I say issues is because any veteran at any point, you hit VA up, issue is an issue. I'm not saying you have mental issues. You have, I'm not saying Physical issues is a bad too. thing. Issue is, is a good thing because you were healthy when you joined. The military messed you up somewhere. So I mean, somewhere along the way, you got you got fucked up. You yeah, got, yeah. You physical got back or mental you got, or whatever. You got neck problems. You got knee problems. Whatever you got, bro. You got PTSD out the wazoo. Mm-hmm. Whatever you got, but I really need you to understand that we really are. Most of the rest of us veterans are really here for you. And okay. find brothers somewhere because two of the brothers here, <clears throat> I never served with. Ever. We got three different branches here, but we're all brothers and we all hang out like brothers and we all treat each other like brothers. Kel, what were you going to say? So let's get into statistics. Okay, let's go. Hit the hard numbers. Hard numbers. 2023, there were over 50,000 suicides in the United States. Okay. Alone. And I want to touch on this number. How many people died from drunk driving in Texas? I don't know. I think it was like 18,000, 22,000. But that's not suicide. No, no. I'm talking straight suicide. Exactly. And that's my point. We, and the number might be less or more, but it's still less than that number. We have so much number of veterans across the world. Let's take it, let's take it further. I do want to take it further. Today is the 5th of January. And as of yesterday, we were already over 11,000 suicides in the United States. And I want to take it a step further than that. Less than 1% of U.S. population is able to join the military. Less than 3% of the United States population is military or veterans. Correct. So we talk about this 11,000, and it's what? It's the fifth? We have 11,000 veterans dead. 11,000 so, Americans, but yeah. 11,000 Americans. So if you take 3% of that, like if you're just doing logical math, 3% of 11,000 is 3,000, 30, 3,200. And change, 3,000 yeah. and change. So we have, we have this amount of population dead because potentially they could have reached out or potentially they showed signs and nobody reached out. Yep. So if you are having an issue and you don't have anybody to call on, there are two numbers you need to know, and it's the Veterans Crisis Line. I don't know the 800 number, but there's a three-digit number that's really easy to remember. It's 988, and we will put that on the bottom of the screen. 988, anywhere in the United States, you can call 988 and get a hold of a – at 24 hours a day, you can get a hold of a counselor who can help you with whatever situation you're in. If you don't have an action plan – you need to build one. And if you don't know how, contact somebody who can help you, please. I I can't stress this enough. As a suicide survivor, as somebody who, within the last three months, pulled the trigger of a gun, pointed at my head, and no bullet came out, in a Sig Sauer, of all guns, a Sig Sauer, which never fails. Fuck the seals, you Sig Sauers. They never fail. But this time, it did. No bullet came out. I literally felt the trigger click in my hand. And I'm still here today. If you do not have a plan of action, 
please, please build one because your life does matter. You served our country. You matter. All the bullshit you're going through, your girlfriend, your your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your relationship status isn't a reason to take your life. Period. End of discussion. I know because I've been through it. That's all I'm going to say on it. it. And listen, he's not the only one. I've had the pistol in my mouth. I was ready. Ready. I didn't pull the trigger. So I've, I've been on the upside. I've been the same as him. So I have I have a Colt 45. OG point and click interface. That's what my family pushed for the longest time. I was in the slum. I was done. I was like, I'm no longer operator status. Let's go. Let I'm done. I'm working a desk job. Pulled the trigger twice. First time, it didn't go. I was like, okay, maybe it was a misfire. Re-rack. Put it back to my head. I was chilling up here in the city. Pulled again, didn't go. I was like, I guess I'm just miserable. I can't even commit suicide right. Right. I failed at com- at killing myself. Like then, how how shitty is that feeling? And I had I had one person call me. We were on Life 360 at the time, and Wolf goes, What the fuck are you doing in Bandera alone? I was like, I'm I'm done. Like me and my wife are fighting. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not doing the job I signed up for. Like, I'm going through medical issues. He's like, his first question, how many times have you pulled the trigger? Bro, that fucking hit me. It's like, how do you know? What? I was like, twice. He's like, and it didn't go off twice? You really want to try the third time, or do you want to come home and talk to me? Yeah. So I drove out to Helotus, which is only like, what, 10 minutes from here, 10, 15 minutes from here. And we talked, and he was like, there's a reason you're still here. And later, after I left the military, he pushed he pushed me to push my disability. And I was like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm making good enough money. He was like, what? All the extra money. Who could you be helping? Bro, you know how hard that hit me? I got out of the military. I started making six figures. And realistically, because Wolf pushed him to get his disability, he pushed me to get my disability. Oh, and I'm, I, in I'm turn, adamant about it now. Push it's... my my our our friend Stephen to get his disability. Man, disability for Stephen changed his life. It did change his life. It was like, think about it. This one impact Wolf made on me has changed three lives. Just right here, just from what we know, at least minimum, at least minimum, is like. I went over to his trailer. He was living at his dad's place. Yep. And we talked, and he was like, bro, you're meant for something more. You you can't just give up now. It's like, but I got nothing else. He's like, and he he let me vent for three hours. I didn't get home till four or five o'clock in the morning. I had work the next day at six. You got went, home, you put your clothes on, you went to I work. went home, I put my clothes on, went back to work. But... He let me vent everything out. But this goes back. Everyone has someone. One where everyone has someone. Your mom, your dad, your best friend. Someone is always willing to listen. Yep. Like, we've we've briefly talked about this, but seriously, there's always someone to call. If If you don't have someone to call, call the number. Yep. Like so, let me let me say something real quick because I just recently found my true battle buddy, someone I can call at all hours of the night, all hours of the day for the most part. And if I can't, then I can send him a message somehow to get his attention, to get him out of a secure building to call me. Someone who is there if I'm in that dark space again. Because this isn't a one-time thing. This isn't. This has happened multiple times, and and let's go back to before that incident. 
who was the first person to call up Wolf and say, I'm fucking done? It, it's a battle. That, right. And, and, and so as veterans, that it's, it's a battle. Push it. Like, we, in, historically, we dealt this when World War II. Where are we on time? We good? Ten, five minutes. We still got time then. A uh, minute. No, we got a minute. All right. Seriously though, if Let's there's an issue, close it out. let seriously, 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 I cannot stress it enough. Hit the number Kelt touched on. Nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. It it could be your lifesaver if you know someone. Push it out. Veteran suicide is one of the biggest things that we are we're fighting with in our community. And and one last thing, suicide, I don't give a fuck who's doing it. It isn't a call for help. It isn't even though it could be a cry for help, it's a legit cry for help. So don't just blow them off because you may not ever see that person again if you do. That's all I'm going to say.